just when you think you're almost done fixing up your house, they have a couple more things to do and out of there. Here's what the frick tards did behind the washer. They pulled out the washer to fix drywall that they messed up. When they put the washer back, they didn't put the hose back in. It flooded the entire floor and they had to pull out the floor. Now we have to get more floor. So this was the floor that they once put in, but there was water all over the place. And now they need to redo it. Oh my God, this is heaven. I have not ridden my Roubaix in, it's gotta be three and a half months, something like that. I can't even remember. I don't think I've ridden it this entire year because of this construction that's been going on. But this is going to be a lot of fun. Wasn't expecting this. I'll tell you in a second um, what I notice about this bike that's different because I haven't ridden it in such a long time. But, oh yeah. So other than this being stopped here, we're waiting to go. And there's a long line behind me. Hey, I don't know what the heck is going on. They're fixing something. You know the real reason I ride a bike? Is to de-stress. Because the crap that's been going on, I would much rather be sitting here waiting to ride. Out in the sun, obviously I'd rather not be in a car. But I'm a lot happier right now. That is for sure. I don't think we're going for a while. Fudge. Why do they do that? All right, here we go. All right. Something cool just happened. I'm riding down Central, and all of a sudden I look behind me and there's like nine people riding really fast. They look like hitters. And they were coming up upon me, and I kind of moved to the side and gave a signal to go back, go past me. We start talking, I jump, kind of jump on their wheel. They said it was cool. I said, made a joke. Doesn't anybody work anymore? We're all out riding. And they go, no, we're on holiday. And I've learned that when someone says we're on holiday, they're not from here. No one says it that way. So I said, oh, go, oh where are you from? I was thinking Canada. Cause we get a lot of Canadians coming to Southern California. And they said, from England and Australia. And I thought to myself, just to ride here. But that's how popular Southern California is. And so that's why I made this channel. So let me tell you about my bike. So one thing I noticed compared to my Crux, my Crux has the geometry of like a tarmac a little bit. So the handlebars I noticed were a little taller. So the, the drop from the seat to the handlebars is a little bit less on this bike. And actually I like it. The best thing about this bike is this freaking saddle. I'll put links down below to like Amazon if you want to check them out. But this is the Sella SMP and man, this thing feels like I'm riding a horse. Like I'm just sitting in the saddle that it's just cradling me. Like someone's cradling you on your crotch with a, with a soft hand, with a white glove. I mean, that's how comfortable this thing is. This Aliante that I have on my cyclocross bike, it's shaped like this, but it's smooth. So when I jump onto the bike, my thighs can just slide on the saddle. So that's why I have that saddle. The other thing I notice is, man, this is a light bike compared to my Crux. You know, they all say, oh, weight doesn't matter. Weight doesn't matter. Man, my, I know it doesn't intellectually. Aerodynamics matter, but this thing just takes off. I love it. My other bike has 20, no, it has 38 millimeter tires. These are 28 and they just feel fast. And the last thing I noticed is I've been running my uh, cyclocross cleats or mountain bike cleats. And these, what I have right here, the Shimano's road, road cleats, it feels like my foot is more on the pedal. It just feels better. And so I really like riding this bike, but it's an SL3. How old is that? It's like 
13, 14 years old and it's still going. I just love it. All right, so let's take off. <laughs> the one thing about the pedals is with the other bike, it's dual side entry. And with this, I forgot the feel and I lost the touch of trying to get in the pedals. Oh man, what a great day. A lot of road closures today. I'm about five miles from home, but I ran out of water and I am really thirsty. It's uh, about 80 degrees right now. So let's get some water from the outlet mall. From the valley to North Santa Barbara, I know everywhere where there's a bathroom and where to get water. I know what they're trying to say here, but what I'm reading is this is a family with a daughter and a disabled child. But what I think they're trying to say is that this is a bathroom for disabled people as well as gender neutral or whatever you choose to be. It just looks that way to me that they have a disabled child. That's the way I think. Ah, nothing better than a ride to solve all your problems. 36.3 miles, 17 miles per hour. This bike rocks, feels good. Even if it's temporary when it solves your problems, at least it solves your problems temporarily. Now, back to the grindstone of getting this house up in order.